So a bit of an observation about the early part of the Major League Baseball season has been a lot of teams that were considered to be contenders are not contenders yet. Uh, a lot of teams that were expected to do really, really well are not doing so high. Like, for instance, the St. Louis Cardinals. Now, before we get into the St. Louis Cardinals, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, one of the surprises, to go back a little bit, is the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Pittsburgh Pirates have had a great start. They're 16-8. and eight. I bring that up because I figured they would be improved, but to see them get off to a good start is good because it's a good sports town, Pittsburgh, and they're going to be a ballpark. But the St. Louis Cardinals, uh, I predicted that they were going to win that division pretty handily, and they right now are in dead last, tied with the Reds at 9-15. and They're tied with the fifth-worst record in Major League Baseball right now. Uh, they re the team pitching... It's pretty much in shambles. They have an ERA over four, which is unusual for the Cardinals. That's not something that happens on a regular basis. That the Cardinal pitching is so bad. Uh, but they actually did some, you know, they actually made news today, uh, which was surprising when I saw it, is they sent down a big prospect, Jordan Walker, um, someone that had been a prospect as a third baseman. Uh, he had been playing in the outfield because obviously they have the, the uh, great Nolan Arenado at their base for them. But he was playing the outfield, and they sent him down. Now, I was going through some of his numbers. He sent 274. His OPS plus is 101. Which, on the surface, you're looking at his numbers. They aren't bad. But, obviously, with the team being 9-15, uh, they kind of, I guess, I don't know, they're making a, an example out of him. Or maybe they just feel like he uh, needs a little protection. But just going deeper into his numbers... <clears throat> and he's had a lot of success. He had a, a, a long hitting streak to start his career. But in 73 at-bats, he has struck out 20 times. <clears throat> and obviously to me, that's telling me that they feel like he's not making enough contact. Um, his wins above replacement is a negative, negative 0 0.3, meaning that he's cost them games overall. And he's cost them games defensively. He's cost them games offensively. And he's hit two home runs. I think he's got five RBIs, six RBIs, and 73 bats. For a young player, that's not horrible. But obviously, the strikeouts is a very disturbing thing. You don't, you don't want your, a young player striking out a third of the bats that he's had. So obviously, he's been sent down. Now, the Cardinals, like I said, are right now not playing well. And which is a surprise. Just a surprise in general that the Cardinals are playing so poorly. Usually, they... They play, you know. Now, last year they got off to a slow start, and eventually they went on to win the division because they caught the Brewers. Because the Brewers made that 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 uh, disastrous trade for them at the time, where they traded Josh Hader, and they brought in, you know, the, the Cardinals brought in Quintana and made a couple other moves to shore themselves up for the last two months, and were able to win that division. But they get off to a nine and fifteen starts. A little unusual. It's not really the Cardinal way uh, to be playing so poorly, and to be pitching so poorly. That should be an issue for them, is, is how poorly they're pitching. Because, you know, if you, you're pitching poorly, and which is, we see this here in, with the New York Mets. New York Mets pitching has not been uh, lights out since the start of the season, obviously with the injuries to Scherzer, and now he's been suspended. The injury to Jose Quintana, the injury to uh, Justin Verlander. Uh, the Mets pitch, and of course, uh, you know, they've had sort of a up and down kind of uh, results with Cody Senga and David Peterson's been a disaster. But uh, you, you don't want to see your pitching poorly this early in the season. Now, overall, the pitching for the Cardinals is not very good. Like I said, for them, their ERA is over four, which is unusual for them. Uh, hopefully, they not hopefully not that I care one way or the other. You would think that at some point they'll turn it around. They're a very talented team. They got two really great players on that on that infield, with Paul Goldschmidt and Nolan Arenado. Uh, to see them struggling, oh well. <laughs> I mean, as a Met fan, I hate the Cardinals anyway, just just due to the fact that the past and everything else. But uh, for them to send down Jordan Walker, when really it doesn't seem like he's the problem with this pitching. So he's not pitching for them, but obviously they want to like protect him a little bit because he is twenty years old. He's very young. Uh, and I guess he, he played rather well in spring training. They felt the need to bring him up and have him be part of the opening day roster. Uh, but this is a interesting news today. 
that hit a little while ago. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. And uh, let me know what you think about this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut 2. Thank you, and I'll see you later.